here we are with another Friday Night Live Zoom, June 4th, 2021. And away we go. That's, here we are. Okay, so I think it's working. It's difficult to tell with this setup, but uh, much easier than using two computers. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing freaking amazing. We're getting uh, some beautiful weather here. Very nice, beautiful summer weather. Uh, we got the summer arriving in a few weeks, summer solstice. Beautiful time. It's the longest day of the year where we can reminisce and get into our long, deep, dry fast. Hey, Carrie. You know, there's nothing like uh, jumping in the fields of the dry fast, you know, and just tapping into that wonderful plasma love always flowing and just let it ride, just trust and watch what happens. Watch the magic unfold with no thing. The glorified dry fast, master fast, we put the dry fasting Master Fasting put dry fasting on the map the last uh, six years. And uh, now dry fasting is a common word out there. <laughs> fasting has been corrupted just like everything else. People call eating fruit fasting and so on and so forth. Well, yeah, you may be fasting from other foods, but uh, you're not fasting. So the true fast is the dry fast. That's really the only fast. <clears throat> Everything else is uh, a mimicking to try and get into a fasting state. So that's why we focus all our attention, hello, Paula, on the dry fast and, the, and then of course, we be, we're prudent in washing, washing what the dry fast has shaken up and loosened up on the physical, mental, and emotional planes so we can uh, purge it all out. And that's the, uh, that's the key. The simple key to a successful, prudent fasting experience. I've... Uh, watch so many people go down the road and um, do things that uh, are not very wise or prudent, <laughs> get themselves in trouble and then comes screaming for help. And no reason for that. We have the information available to do everything safely and prudently and very, very effectively. How you doing, Paula? Can you hear me? I guess uh, we got many enjoying the beautiful weather in this part of the world. So, uh, when it's uh, when we get into the uh, season change month, I uh, I'd like to uh, great thanks, Paul. I'd like to just continuously focusing on you know that season change. Just mentally prepare myself, and uh, when the time comes, just jump right in and allow that uh, wonderful, wonderful experience to unfold. <clears throat> Nothing better than fasting on the season changes. Been doing it for a long time. <laughs> now we're doing the dry fast for the last, uh, I don't know, what is it, seven years or so, like eight years? Somewhere around there, seven years for sure. And uh, it's uh, 
it's been an amazing journey to see and watch and experience things that we never knew could be possible. And as time went on, we started seeing that Never mind what anybody tells you. It has no validity. For the most part, if they're saying that something's not possible, doesn't mean nobody ever did it before. Possibilities are limitless and endless, as vast as the universe is. When we tap into the path and trust in soul, everything's possible. And we just... Uh, Embrace the ride, jump for joy when we have some challenges because we know all is well. Cheers. My last drop. Warmed up grape juice, even in the hot days. It's uh, pretty nice. You know, sometimes uh, I drink it cold, but. Uh, I enjoy the warm juice. We are in very interesting times now, so spiritual warfare. And uh, it's, it's very uh, prudent to be ready. We've had, uh, was a year and three months now <laughs> for being prepared. Hello, Elaine. I went on my weekly dry, awesome. Prepare ourselves for some, maybe some tough times ahead of us. <clears throat> Just watching things unfold and being a witness to something that we never experienced before. Total obedience from pretty much the whole planet. But uh, we will get over it and we will come out stronger because the divine light shines within all our hearts even when we're in this, in these ignorant numbed out states, that light is still there. We just need to find something that allows it to be ignited and burst out and flow. Paula, what is the date for the season change? Uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the 21st. The 20 is the first day, the 21st is the first whole day of uh, summer. And the uh, Northern Hemisphere falls on the 21st, the first whole day of every season change. In the uh, Southern Hemisphere, like uh, down under Australia, they, they have it at the beginning of the month, the first of the month. Not sure why that is, but uh, I thought it was always, uh, it was the same on the whole planet, but not so. They uh, they have it at the beginning of the month. Elaine, my older daughter just got jabbed and younger one is getting it this week. My goodness, I am seeing a lot of strange behavior from people. I wonder if on some level they know something is off. Yeah, Elaine. Um, there is something off. <laughs> People are being poisoned <laughs> and uh, all these 5G network towers are being put up and so on and so forth. Whatever reason, the truth will always come out eventually. There's no coincidences. Crazy times. Yep, Carrie, very crazy. But you know, we gotta stay focused on uh, preparing ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, especially. 
whatever comes our way, we need to stand strong and be able to weather whatever gets thrown at us because nobody else can do it for us. If we have a team of people that are working together, all the better. If you're on your own, you know, do the best you can. Pine needle tea, yeah. Abundance of pine needles. Got to uh, make sure you do your research on which pine needles. Um, I don't know the name of it, but the one with the long pine needles is uh, is really nice. You can use many different varieties, but there are some. I think it's the U tree or W E A W E Y E W. You, I think it's called. Uh, that one there's highly toxic. So you got to be careful which uh, pine needles. Do your research. Make sure you know. Pine needles are great. Uh, the uh, North American Indians use them uh, quite a bit in many different things. Because uh, up here, you know, especially in the northern climate, when the winter hits, not much out there, but abundance of evergreens. Uh, Elena, I'm increasing my weekly drive to 36 hours. Awesome. Uh, Carrie, anyone can make it to protect the cells from this spike protein. That's what uh, they're saying. <clears throat> That's what they're saying. Um, live a fasting lifestyle. Don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Just purge your body, purge it all out. Best thing is uh, stop, you know, don't put any uh, toxic substances in the body so you don't have to deal with it. And that's why we choose the lifestyle of less is more. Less of everything. Less consuming. So NAC, yeah, we're not we're not into su supplements ourselves. Um, I've been down that road many many years ago. I left supplements away. Uh, supplements are uh, uh, I don't I don't have the understanding that they provide any balance to the body. They actually uh, move the body toward imbalance. All supplements, no matter what the they they may. It, may seem to be happening on the surface. Um, these things cause imbalances. When you look in the long terms, 5, 10, 20 years, uh, that's where you're going to see the real things happening. Uh, any of these supplements, when you stop taking them, um, uh, the stimulation stops. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <clears throat> alkaline diet and they see for protection fungus uh we don't go in chemistry either carry uh the alkaline diet uh, uh almost killed me and uh, killed one of my friends and uh many many other people have got serious problems from alkaline diet when you play in chemistry you're gonna you're always gonna get burned uh there's no chemistry in the universes uh universes work on uh, fields and on balance uh, gravitational magnetic fields. Uh, the stronger always feeds the weaker to bring the balance. We don't need to know the chemistry. Uh, the chemistry has limited uses for, uh, you know, in, in this matter world of uh, playing with chemicals and so, so on and so forth. But as far as uh, health is concerned, I, I left the, the chemistry alone. Uh, I was down the path of uh, trying to balance the chemistry, the alkaline versus the acid, and um, just led me uh, spiraling out to more and more confusion. Got myself in real, real trouble. Had a real bad fungus infection. Uh, it almost wiped me out. I was, I was down for like five weeks, if I recall. My, my, my friend didn't pass away. Um, his heart just stopped. Um, alkaline actually feeds the fungus. Uh, doesn't protect you against fungus. 
Uh, this is uh, all nonsense, the information that's being put out there. Uh, that's why I got a fungus infection, because I was alkalizing, alkalizing, alkalizing. I was off of sweet fruits, going higher in the fats, and alkalizing lots of greens, lots of alkaline water, and uh, this, you know, uh, uh, raw vegan keto, uh, which is uh, on a high alkaline side, according to uh, the sciences. Uh, bad news. Bad news, but wonderful learning experience. Uh, taught me uh, to uh, be humble that I don't have a clue about anything. <laughs> so I leave it up to the soul. Because <laughs> every time I trusted this information of sciences, I got, I got burned big time. Uh, so I was just trusting the soul. Let the soul do the work, just fast and stop eating. Simple. Purge, purge, purge. And the, the, only, the only thing that stops us is fear. Fear, lack of experience, um, not a clear understanding of what fasting really is, not a clear understanding that only the body can feed, hydrate, purge, build, balance, and heal itself. Nothing else outside of that. Through soul from source. Everything comes from source through the soul. The soul creates the physicality through, through field work. No materials are used to make this physicality. <laughs> Absolutely no materials. The soul manifests them all through the fields. Just like everything we see around us, everything's been manifested through the fields. Uh, most coes down to diet. Yes. Yeah, well, the diet is a, a big part because we're putting something through our digestive system one, two, three times a day or more. And environments dictate outcomes. So if you're continuously putting matter through this GI tract, the body's going to have to deal with it. You know, mind over matter, my foot, you're going to have to deal with all the crap that you put into this GI tract. And it creates an environment, and that environment creates um, interference through the fields that the body works with. You know, just instead of pure fields, it's got fields, gunk, food to work through. So that's going to change the outcome, and that's why we go into imbalance of state. Remove all the gunk, and you have pure, clear field interaction, and then you have the soul doing its magic. You don't have to worry about any chemistry or supplements or diets or any of that stuff. We just eat, focus on the fasting lifestyle and make our um, fasting our core um, life. You know, the, the diet is only for fun. You know, the word die, die it. That's where it leads you. <laughs> Eating leads you to death. The less you eat, the longer you live. The more vibrant you'll live. You know, there's uh, two people that live to 100 years old. One person sleeps eight hours a day. The other person sleeps four hours a day. Who lived longer? The person who slept four hours a day lived longer in the realm, in the waking realm. Right? So when you're living a fasting lifestyle, uh, one thing you're going to start noticing uh, very quickly, within a few months or years, you're going to be getting less sleep. You know, when I eat, I'm anywhere from six to eight hours, may even be up to nine hours sometimes, depends if I eat a little more obstructive. When I'm in a fasting state, it's anywhere from uh, four or five to seven hours max uh it's you know the longer you go the less you need uh when you got some obstructions to move out the body will use more rest uh we only eat once a day and less fast and you're awesome one meal a day is too much right seven days a week of eating is uh not a fasting lifestyle we want to get into a place where we're doing no more than um, 
two, three days a week of eating max. Maximum. When we start eating more days, we are in an obstruction mode, obstruction continuously accumulating. We want to be deaccumulating. We want to be removing obstructions continuously. And that's the key. Uh, Gina, on Wednesday, you were talking about using a tool shocker for cleaning bowel cleansing equipment. Do you recommend liquid or crystals? Uh, we always buy the crystals, the powder. Um, I don't, I've never, I didn't know they had a liquid. Um, crystals, we use about a teaspoon inside. I think it's maximum half a liter, plus or minus. You don't have to be exact. And it works really great. Um, you got to be careful because it's, uh, it's, we put them in spray bottles and the spray bottles, if you, uh, once you let it all dilute, there's going to be some crystals that don't uh, dissolve and you want to strain them out. And the spray bottles, uh, they get eaten up by this stuff. They get eaten up, meaning you're going to go through a lot of nozzles. So you have to wash them regularly. If they don't work, you have to take them apart and wash them all out and uh, they'll start to work again to, to extend the life. Otherwise you're gonna be just throwing them away. So you gotta continuously wash them, put them, uh, put them inside water and just spray water through them, fresh water and strain out the crystals. And that stuff there is magical. Um, like I said, we solved the mold problem in the showers. You squeeze it down, give it a light mist. Never have, you'll never see that black mold again. Spray all your uh, your enema equipment, your uh, your uh, galena uh, boards, and so on and so forth. Use them for disinfecting your toilets, uh, you know. And uh, you never have to worry about uh, any pathogens um, growing when you're using this stuff. Uh, it's very very safe, very effective. Um, make sure you know when you're doing it, you have a good airflow. You know, have the fan on in the bathroom or uh, the window open because these things are gaseous and uh, breathing in small amounts is no big deal, but you don't want to be breathing large amounts. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we you know fasting lifestyle. We don't need to focus on eating. We're all experts. How much more pleasure are we gonna need to or learn from eating? It's, we've done, I don't know how many meals, just figure out how old you are by how many meals you've eaten a day. There's thousands and thousands of meals. We're experts, we're experts at eating. The fasting is a place where um, very few will uh, want to dwell in because it's too revealing. You know, as we say, all the mirrors of truth will come to the surface. Boy, oh boy, do they come to the surface. <laughs> There's, uh, it's very, very interesting to uh, watch things unfold as we uh, go through the years of fasting. <clears throat> I'm a little bit tired today, been, uh, got the stairs done finally. We have to, have to rebuild the stairs going to the basement. That's quite a job. <laughs> Rana's uh, helped me carry him downstairs. It was heavier than her. <laughs> She's uh, pretty tough. We got it in, everything went well. Another thing, another check mark off. Yeah, We're getting closer. You know how to do stairs. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having some fun. But uh, yeah, just uh, trying to get things done now. It's just like going here, going there, this place closed, that place closed. And it's just like, okay, this is a new norm, I guess for now. <laughs> Awesome work, guys. Oops, sorry. My, uh, my, my, 
coaster. <laughs> this thing is really awesome. <laughs> Cheers. I never get sick of grape juice. <laughs> Yeah, it's one juice that we, uh, we can just drink for good, you know? Like pineapple too. We have we buy pineapple a little bit. Pineapple is nice, but I like it cold, you know, like it warm. Pineapple with a little bit of grape juice. It's nice cold, I like it. With a little bit of grape. Yeah. It's my favorite actually after the grape juice, pineapple. Pomegranate juice is nice. Uh, all, I love all juices, but Grape, uh, I never get sick of it. I loved grape juice as a kid, loved grapes as a kid. Never stopped uh, enjoying the taste of wonderful grapes. What's that? Um, <laughs> this is something we developed about, uh, when was it? The late uh, 2000s. It's an uh, energy device. When we were playing with uh, with these things, we were ahead of our time. <laughs> we didn't know about we didn't know about the plasma back then, but that's what it is. This thing brings balance to anything. It's just a decal sticker. When you put it on wood, it amplifies it. Works really nice. If you put a bottle of wine on there, it ages it within thirty seconds. Uh, uh, we've had uh, wine tasters completely oblivious to what the hell's going on because they uh, they all agreed that uh, it aged the wine anywhere from two to four years <laughs> instantly 30 seconds <laughs> it changes the bond angle of water from our from our understanding and it makes the water more smooth or silkier um, I've had uh, we've had uh, two two people that were stutter stuttering, and as soon as we put the sticker on their heart, they stopped stuttering, and they were they were pretty much in shock. Um, we used uh, we did a few shows with them, and kids kids really amazing to try my children. Uh, uh, like their their balance completely uh, gets way better when you put that on their heart um either the, the the best place we found is on the kidneys if you get two small ones on the kidneys second best place is in the, on the feet right under the feet and the heart is also a great place um this thing actually has a heartbeat it has the heartbeat of the universe i've had uh, one two three three Make four four different um, clairvoyants say this thing's got a heartbeat. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. We had a lot of fun with it, but um, people couldn't wrap their heads spending ten dollars for a sticker. But the people that bought them, we've had a wonderful rant and rave about. Uh, I, had, I remember one family, one guy bought one and then he brings his whole family over because of how much they enjoyed the water. <laughs> and the longer you let, leave it on the water, like if you put on a big tank of water, the water just gets better and better and better. How can we purchase? Uh, well, we don't sell them anymore. I think I still have some. Uh, if people wanted them, we could uh, we can uh, sell a few. Uh, we have different sizes. That was the big one. Uh, we have a medium size. And we have a small size, the same as that one. And then we had this one. This is a different uh, design, but it's the same thing. This, this is not a sticker. It's actually the uh, plastic material that sticks to glass. Um, yeah, they're uh, 
It was pretty interesting. Carrier, I will buy two, please. Can you drop by? We'll see if I can get out, Carrie. I've been very, very busy this, this whole last year. <laughs> it's been uh, nonstop. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can drop by. <clears throat> there are uh, so, so many things you can do. So simple things, you know, just ground yourself. Um, you know, you put put them on the put them on the phone. You slide it inside the uh, back cover. And if you do a muscle test on your phone without it, you know, you're going to see you're going to be weak. You put it right in your heart. You'll test weak. When you put the sticker on, and you will test strong because it helps. Um, bring balance to your fields. These, all, the, all these fields, these electromagnetic fields, microwaves and so on and so forth, they all cause imbalances and we're being bombarded by them all the time. So, you know, that's why we say, you know, do the best you can in the situation you're in. Yeah, you know, use crystals, you know, crystals are awesome to have around. Keep crystals with you, keep nano-coated copper with you. Um, we've, uh, where are we here? Nano coated copper. Let me keep this on the uh, Wi Fi. Keep a couple of these on the Wi Fi. And also um, hardwood charcoal. Charcoal, what do we do with charcoal? Uh, there were studies that um, they did with activated charcoal. I think it was in lab rats that they extended their life by 20% just adding activated charcoal in their diet without changing anything. It, you know, they had to control, experimental, same diet. One, one of them, they added activated charcoal. Interesting. See, if you look at what's talked about in activated charcoal world. It's always about the uh, physical properties of how it can absorb so many times it's uh, weight and so on and so forth. There's no talk about the uh, fields, right? You know, we, we, we brought to the light about the fields. Joanne, up to 49% actually recently read about it, about the life expects. Okay, I can't remember the numbers, but it's been a while. So that's pretty interesting. What do we you know? That's one of the ingredients in our plasma pudding. And we, uh, we have our burnt stick, right? We have our burnt stick. Just get yourself uh, any wooden stick. Hardwood would be nice because it... Uh, uh, the soft woods, they, they crumble when you put them in, make them charcoal. And, uh, you know, a bit bigger than that would be better. So you can hold this one. I had this for, from Italy <laughs> and brought it with me. It was a little bit longer, but I broke it. So and you use this for massaging your acupressure points and kidneys and so on and so forth. Just, uh, just amazing. How many, we you know how many testimonials people gave us just, just with the bird stick. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. You know, we don't hear too many people talk about it anymore, but it's in the protocol. Everything is there. Everything is there for a reason. Uh, they tried to figure out the lethal dose and gave them tons. None of them died. The opposite happened. <laughs> I've, I've experimented Joanna with lots of activated charcoal, a lot. I've done up to tablespoons. At a, at a time, no problem. Um, there was a video of an elephant uh, breathing in uh, activated charcoal. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Um, I don't think I'd want to be one of breathing it in. I don't know what it was doing, but it looked like it was breathing it in or ingesting it or something. It's, it, 
I guess they're grabbing things with their trunk, so it looks like it was bleeding. It was probably ingesting it. The activated charcoal, um, you know, it goes way, way, way back. Uh, you know, farmers burning their fields at the season, to end of season, to reinvigorate the land, bring back balance. That's what the charcoal does. Um, energize, re-energize it, bring the balance energetically. So uh, as you know, you're putting it through your digestive system. It's helping bring balance. Um, what are they? What's the first thing they do when you go to the hospital and you've been poisoned? You know, with overdose of drugs and so on. So they give you activated charcoal, right? Um, and also, the you know people were given false information that charcoal um, robs you of the nutrients. There's, you know, if you were in the master fast realm, you know that there's no such thing as nutrition. <laughs> so, well, how's it going to rob you of something that doesn't exist? <laughs> you know, if it extends the life of something, how can it rob you of nutrients? There's so much information out there. And we have to sit back, critical think, but do it with the eyes of the divine. Meaning, what's happening in nature? What's happening in the universe? These are the eyes of the divine. If we see it happening on these uh, planes, we know there has to be something to it, right? It's, uh, this, it's not rocket science. Very simple things. Um, it's such, such a simple thing, you know? Who would ever thought? You know, burning things, you know? Raw is law. I was one of those. Raw is law. Gotta have everything raw. And now I'm in completely the other end. <laughs> fasting is not. Not completely, but fasting dry fasting is a cooked state. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting that uh, we, we are in the balance field. We like to, uh, We like to allow things to happen and unfold because by default, we are set towards, to, uh, to always move towards balance. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. The evidence is all around us. You know, it's interesting, um, like in uh, religious scriptures and um, yeah, so, um, Ra was not something ever talked about, right? But fasting, yes. Dry fasting, too. Well, the Essenes, the Essenes used to eat raw. The oh. time of Christ. Who? Oh. The Essenes. Yeah, they used to eat completely raw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, maybe rare, but the majority of um, the they, scriptures... They lived 120 not... years average. Everybody else lived about 40 years old at that time. Yeah, but the majority of the scriptures uh, do not uh, really talk about Ra. They talk about fasting. All of them talk about fasting. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Islam talks about dry fasting too, right? Like more than fasting. And not necessarily dry fasting, but just nothing. Not even uh, sexual activity. And you also have to control what you say, you know, like gossiping and all these bad things. Uh, the bad deeds, any kind of bad deed, like you really have to discipline yourself when you fast. And that's, that's the whole point, right? It's a cleansing uh, method. But yeah, like Rao is not something mentioned at all, for example, in Islam. Um, but of course, it's not even um, against Ra or fruits, you know, or light food. I don't think anybody would be against something that is good for you. But at the same time, it's not the, mo the most important thing. It was not the most emphasized thing. You know, like Jesus, did he, was he into law, for example? I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, but he, <laughs> maybe I was. Yeah, but he talked about fasting, he didn't talk about law, food, did he? Yeah, but it's a given, you know, with fruits, vegetables, and stuff, you know. <laughs> Um, how long has cooking been around? It's been around for thousands of years for sure. Uh, has it been there like since the, the beginning of time? I don't know. Just, you know, you know. like uh, there is a mention of uh, of everything: fruits, vegetables, herbs, 
uh, but also, you know, there is bread and there is some meat, you know, and, and that's fine, you know. Well, you know, in the times of the, you... the Roman Empire, when they used to have a feast, mm -hmm. they had tons of fresh fruit, tons of fresh fruit. Yeah, especially in the Mediterranean area, it's very rich in the... Yeah, so it's always available. So it was a given, it's not something that, like now, they have corporations preparing so-called food, and people go the whole life without eating, ever eating fruits and vegetables. They're just eating corporate food. You know, there's not even, there's, it's not even food. They call it food, but it's not even food. So we're in a whole different realm now. Whereas, you know, in, in the times before corporations preparing food, it was a given. If you eat fruits and vegetables, that's, that's what your <laughs> diet is. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be mentioned. It didn't have to be mentioned. It was, it was, it was available everywhere. Yeah, and in, in the Quran, for example, there is a lot of mention of fruits, but also some, there is mention of um, onions and, and uh, what do you call it? Um, there is mention of wheat and there is mention of uh, lentils, you know? But not, not necessarily your own food, uh, your only food. Uh, there is also mention of sacrificing a lamb once in a while, you know? But that's occasional. That's occasional. You don't eat lamb or whatever meats every day. Um, and I'm sure that was the same for all the prophets, you know. Um, it was something that sacrificed, like the natives, you know, and they they sacrifice pretty much all everything that they eat, right? That's I, I believe how we want to do it. You want to appreciate God's food as much as possible. Dead plants, dead animals. Let's minimize it. Let's get into a fasting lifestyle. Joanna, the uh, if you can find that article, if you have it available, that would be great if you can share it uh, on the uh, charcoal. It's been a while since I read that. Uh, yeah. People like this kind of stuff from the sciences. They will, we need to see it written down and tested by white jackets to be able to believe it. That's... Uh, that's why we're all uh, locked in lockdown <laughs> because the knowledge is so great that uh, everybody's running in fear. I'll try to find it again. Okay, thanks. If, if you have it available, if not, it's okay. Thanks. That would be great. Just paste, post it in the, in, the, in the board. Yes, people need proof. Yeah, but you know, this is even with proof. They still don't make changes in their life. <laughs> they start questioning everything. You know, but if it comes from a white jacket, and it comes from a book, comes from a newspaper, comes from TV, comes from the government, they don't question it. And, you know, this is where you got to use your critical thinking, your common sense, like the, the divine inspiration that's flowing through the heart is there. We have all the knowledge. You just got to tap in. Uh, Barbara, I'm here, but driving. Please talk about what you mean when you talk about the Luciferic agenda. Thank you. I'm trying to build up courage to change and grow. Looking at the hashtag 75 hard. I don't know what that is. 75 hard. Is that your age? <laughs> um, the Luciferic agenda. The Luciferic intellect. Is that what you mean? Luciferic intellect. We always refer to Luciferic intellect. Luciferic agenda Same is, thing. is well, it's not necessarily, no. The Luciferic agenda is what's, is a group of people that uh, have, um, believe they are better than everybody else on this planet. And they will do everything and anything, including wipe out all of us without even blinking an eye or even thinking uh, any, any negative feeling towards us. Um, they will do that because they are control freaks. They have evil running through their blood. That's the Luciferic agenda. And um, they, uh, the, the beautiful thing is, and we've mentioned this you know, a few times, um, when anyone goes down the path of evil, imbalance, they always make mistakes so they can be revealed. This is the beauty of divine order. You cannot escape. 
You cannot escape higher order. You're always going to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bound to cause and effect. Karma, you know, reap what you sow. All the different words have been used. So um, it's very, very wonderful and interesting, especially this last year, three months or so, how we've seen so many things being revealed and people still keep their eyes closed to many of the things that have been revealed. So that's what we, the Luciferic agenda. It's just control freaks that believe they are gods. And um, I don't know if you want to call them atheists. They believe they are gods themselves. And uh, some of them, uh, if not all of them, worship um, Lucifer, Satan, whatever you want to call it. That form of energy, they believe it's Zionism. the pure light, um, so on and so forth. But um, the Lucifer intellect, we refer to that as um, man believes they know better than uh, nature and creator. That's the ego. The ego it comes into uh, into our faces, believing that we can fix the problems that we created in in nature with the same mind. That's the Luciferic intellect, which is impossible. You cannot fix the problems with the same mind. The only way to solve the problems we created is wiping out clean plate and rethinking with a whole new mind, a whole new way, moving towards um, divine order, natural, um, the natural order of things in nature, in the universe. We look at how things um, um, are, are set into motion towards balance by default, by doing nothing, by doing nothing. If you look in a forest, and some of them have been around thousands of years, man didn't take care of them. How do they, how do they continue to be around for all these years? Because they are programmed to self-sustain and self-balance themselves. Everything that, you know, the, the leaves fall, they go to the ground, that breaks down, creates the soil, and the whole cycle continues. You know, it's not rocket science. Um, back to Eden, that uh, documentary about the wood chips, of that farmer, how he goes through, and how he uh, learned what he what he learned to do from watching an, uh, nature work. But he was refer made reference to the Bible, which is uh, pretty amazing, and. Uh, and all the references he used. Um, just leave things alone. Just use the wisdom of leaving things alone. And, you know, if we work with nature and not against it, we're going to always um, come out shining at the other end. So the Luciferic intellect will always lead you down the path of confusion, the path of imbalance, the path of um, division, the path of, um, what else is there? Um, everything opposite of divine order, pretty much. You know, Luciferic intellect, you know, believes that, you know, we need this vitamin, this mineral, this amino acid, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We got it all figured out. These are essential. That's the Luciferic intellect. The Luciferic intellect is the mainstream science. It keeps changing. You know, I don't know if science is the problem, to be honest with you. It's the people. Yeah, of course it's the people. <laughs> it's science. That it's is the people, the people that, who are, uh, that, you know, uh, the people who are. Um, science is a wonderful tool. If we remove, number one, the profit from it. Because I can have. Uh, any scientific study go my way as long as I have the money. Any scientific study. 
And that's, that's what science is. It's gatekeeping. It's the, the mainstream science is actually gatekeeping the true knowledge. Like all the um, people that have come up with, for example, uh, free energy devices and so on and so forth, they've been all suppressed, yeah. bought out, or killed. So I feel, you know, that the biggest problem today, in my opinion, is that we have no faith or very, very little faith, especially in the West, especially in the West. It's just people have sold their souls. I don't care how, what their religion is. And even in the East, you know, like the, some of the politicians, boy, you know, maybe the people are have not sold their soul yet, but the politicians, many of them, most of them have. Um, and that makes it very hard for the people to be faithful as well when they feel oppressed by their leaders, you know? Uh, how can you be free? How can you be free to, you know, it, it's just the world, in my opinion, is really lost. And um, I, I feel the, the Eastern people, you know, um, are are still stronger, and I feel they are going to be the ones who will who will really save the West, in my opinion. You know, um, yeah. So uh, uh, to me, Zionism is boy. Zionism is Satan. You know, it's uh, another form of Satan. It's just like Satan being manifested. Um, it's just the killing, like. You know, it's like not the oppression. It's like nothing. It's, just, it's like normal. You know, they have no feelings when they kill people, when they oppress people. You know, um, and now uh, you know with the, with this whole thing that's happening outside, that's just another form of oppression. That's a mild one, mild one. Okay, yeah, sure, it can progress pretty badly. Uh, but uh, boy, compared to what's happening in uh, some countries. That is very little, and uh, these, yeah, they actually look at us and they think, "Oh yeah, you think you're oppressed? You have no clue what oppression is." Um, so yeah, so at the end of the day, who, wherever we live, we are humans, and we all deserve to be treated fairly and equally. You know, regardless where we come from, regardless of our religion, because the religions are there to uh, to help us. Uh, stick to peace, balance, and cooperate, <clears throat> you know, to discipline us. Uh, if it's not there to make you a better person, then you're doing the wrong thing. That, that's, you know, you're not following the religion. That, I, I assure you that much, you know. Uh, there are amazing Jews, amazing Christians, and amazing Muslims, uh, but the majority of people are not any of that. They have sold their souls. And amazing atheists, and amazing Indians, and amazing Hindus, um, and amazing Sure, yeah, Hindu. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, if you're, if you, if you don't have a religion, like an atheist, I feel like you're, you're choosing the way to be lost, you know, like, oh yeah, everything is so free, and you know, I'm like a bird. Yeah, okay, yeah, good luck being disciplined. Uh, it's hard enough to be disciplined when you have a foundation, <laughs> like a religion. Uh, imagine when you have nothing to live for. You know, like not no discipline, uh, not no purpose, almost. You know, just everything is by accident. Uh, and if everything is by accident, you're gonna be a selfish. Trust me. I, in my opinion, you're gonna be a selfish human being if you think everything in this world happened by accident. You're just gonna want everything for yourself, for your own sake. Um, if you're nice or you're not nice, it doesn't matter. You know, like so you, you can lie. You can, uh, but when you do it in a faithful manner, I feel it's a different story. It's a, it's a different story. It's like the reward um, is, is beyond our imagination. And it's just, you feel it immediately. It's like in the fields, you know, you can say, you know, I think that's the best way to explain it. It's in the fields. So yeah, um, for me, that's what's lacking. Um, I feel here in the West, um, uh, like lots of Europe and North America, I feel there is a lot of lack and um, um, like uh, we, have, we have drifted away from faith, from the truth. Uh, why? Because uh, we, are, we became too materialistic. Uh, consumerism and, and all that is just distraction, distraction from the truth. 
until, uh, you know, we all have to pay the price. We all have to pay the price. I don't care who you are. You are going to pay your price uh, for everything that you do, and you will be rewarded for all your good deeds. Um, yeah, so uh, just because we live here doesn't mean that we're not going to pay the same price that other people pay. No, no. Uh, we have one God. God is watching us all, and nobody's better than another one. Sure, some people may be cho chosen, but they also got uh, forbidden <laughs> from different many things because they were they were not obedient. So at the end of the day, we're all heroes. We all sin, and we are all equal. And um, yeah, in, 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 in God's eyes, we are all, you know, given the same freedom. Uh, you know, uh, we, we just ask God for help, and God, uh, in my opinion, um, can help us. You know, but we have to be humble enough to ask for help. Many people are arrogant to ask. Arrogant to ask God because, oh, who is God? It's another one. No, no, He's beyond. <laughs> God is beyond anything. Uh, God is not a human. I have mentioned a couple of times that we are slaves to God. And that's what we say. And people say, no, 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 slave is a bad word. Uh, not for me. And people ask me uh, as well, actually. And I kind of got confused. Um, uh, do you fear God? And I said, well, what does fear mean? It's like, you, you love God. But the truth is, you know what? Yeah, I fear God. Yeah, I fear God. I am proud of it. I am proud of being God's slave. And I'm proud to be afraid of God. Happily. Happily. And anybody can come here and, and, and challenge me all they want. But I am proud to be fearful of God because that would make me a better human. Trust me. That would make me a better man, a better woman. Um, and I am um, honored to be a servant of God. Absolutely. You just have to remember that God is not a human. You, know? you just have to remember that. You know? We're not talking about a human being here. God is everything. Those fairies believe they're gods. Joanne, instead of just trying things out and experiencing them for themselves, Heather, thanks for your presence. You're welcome. Hi, Heather. Uh, what happened when we jumped? Uh, Barbara, I wish I had a confident partner to walk me through such extreme changes. Confused somewhat? I know, sweetheart. I know. It's, it's hard. But you know what? Sometimes your partner can make you even more confused. Um, <clears throat> so sometimes it's better to be on your own, too. I've had extremes thrown at me for yeah. decades. And... Uh, I say everybody else is living an extreme lifestyle, complete abomination towards the you know divine order and natural order. So uh, it's everything's uh, you got to look at things different perspective, and uh, you got to stand strong. Once you you have a knowing, um, once you're awakened, you can't go back to sleep. Let's put it that way, unless you get waked Thank up. Thank God. <laughs> so um, people can say whatever they want. Um, I'm, I've been spiritually attacked left, right, and center, upside down, inside out, especially in the massive, since I started going on social media, I've been attacked uh, but also countless rewarded. times. Also rewarded. So, so yeah, yeah. hopefully it, it can <clears throat> to, you know, act. Right? So, you know, um, forget about all that stuff. Just uh, stay strong, keep your field strength high, and uh, know where you're going. When you're disciplined, you know where you're going. It doesn't matter what people say. It shouldn't matter what people say. The, uh, what they, what people think is not my problem, right? You gotta, that's the way you have to look at it. It's not my problem. What they think is their problem. And let it let it stay at that. It's hard, Just, though. Huh? Elevate their souls. Mm -hmm. Forgive them. It, it's challenging, though. So, yeah, it's easier said than done. So you have to go through the experience and the struggles of letting go and being patient with people. Um it's an amazing practice for you. It's a blessing. It's an opportunity for you to practice being patient. Emotion, seed of all. The emotions run high. And watch the uh, things play out. Uh, Joanna, we found the article. Awesome. 43% of rats. Yeah, whatever. It's a huge number. <laughs> it's, uh, I, was, I, I thought it was 20%. I just made a... Mm -hmm. 
got confused with something else. I got uh, a zillion things I've read over the three decades and I can't remember everything with exact numbers, but uh, you know, forgive me if uh, my numbers are off. Um, I went through the, uh, when I went through the uh, uh, high fat raw vegan keto, I completely lost all my short term memory. It was like, uh, <laughs> it, was kind of, it, was, it was weird. Was, uh, the, I, anyway, um, I got most of it back and it's continuously improving. So we just got to keep working with it. So thanks for uh, sharing that. That's awesome. Awesome. So activated charcoal, simple thing. Just uh, burnt wood, burnt. Can't burn it any more than that. Turns to charcoal. <laughs> and, uh, you know, cooked food is poison. Okay. You know, the uh, I, I remember over the years, there was the sciences would say, that uh, the chart, uh, you know, burnt was bad for you, it was good for you, it was bad for you, good for you. Going back and forth over the years, from what I recall. <laughs> and without a clue, I mean, if they're coming or going. Charcoal, when you bring things, put things in that charcoal uh, state, they always bring balance. Now, um, I would. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say that as, as a blanket, like in all the elements and everything, because I just don't know, but uh, wood for sure. And uh, anything that grows, I would pretty much assume that it would be in the same category, all plant forms, all plant matter and so on and so forth. If you, uh, there's another form of uh, herbology where they burn the herbs, burn the herbs to charcoal state and then make their uh, formulas that way. <clears throat> so you're just using the, um, you're just using the uh, information, right? Um, only. Uh, when we're doing the uh, tinctures of spirit, um, that's all that's being left is the information. There's no matter left. Once you strain out, squeeze out all the uh, material, in the alcohol. It's just the information, right? And they are powerful because it works with the emotion, the fields. The fields work directly with the, the emotional fields. And that's why we see the magic that we see uh, in the realm of MFS because uh, we're working with the fields. Barbara, I think it's lack of communication, education, and trust. My understanding of Zionism was people wanting to have a safe place to feel home, where others are not wanting to distort land, destroy others. I love Buddhism because it's a conscious choice to believe there is good in all other beings, mm -hmm. and everyone sh should be happy, protected, and respected, healthy, happy, and making this come about by each one of us working ourselves mm -hmm. and sending love and compassion to others. Yeah, well, that's what. Um all the religions really teach uh, the, the holy religions, uh, Judaism and Christianity and Islam, that's what they teach. They teach um, very similar um, fundamentals to, uh, to uh, the uh, uh, Buddhism. So it's very similar. We, we, we all have the divine light information flowing through our hearts. Even the evil bastards that sacrifice children have it. But they choose to completely shut it off and turn it, turn it off, or whatever, and go their own way because they believe they are superior. Um, I, you know, call it a, we can call it a mental illness or whatever, but uh, it's 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 completely diabolic. I don't know how many words. Um, is there goodness in these people? Well, they were all created by a divine God, you know, source of all. So there has to be good in them. It doesn't, right? There has to be good in it. Um, how can we... We can always we, return back to God, you know? Yeah, even like Satan himself can, um, can uh, you know, turn it all in and, and, and go back to God. I mean, who knows? 
I don't know about that one, but uh, oh, yeah, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Um, it's not written in that's the, that's not the what's written, but um, but definitely every human being has the ability, like has you know has the potential, you know. But it's all up to God to open our eyes to anything, really. It's up to God to open our yeah. eyes. So all we can do is just be humble enough to ask for help, you know, because, to be guided. Conscious choice to believe there's good. It's a conscious choice to do good, to be good, to live in good, to live in order, peace, balance, correct conduct. That's why we use those words, because it really covers the whole shebang. You don't want to be, in, you want to live in peace and balance with all things and, and correct conduct. Peace, balance, correct conduct. Correct conduct meaning what? Doing all things that are in line with, you know, um, divine order, nature's order. You know, when we're raping and pillaging the, 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 the nature and the planet, it's not divine order, it's not correct conduct. When we're, um, you know, Appreciate. killing and shooting each other and, oh. and bashing each other and talking stupid things behind people's back and gossip and all that crap, there's mm -hmm. nothing to do with peace, balance, correct conduct. You know, but, but you know one thing is uh, you know you have to call a spade a spade <laughs> um in my opinion you have to like call what's the suffering the suffering you know otherwise like you're gonna be just sitting here and be infiltrated by the the, the whole um uh, this whole negative energy you know it will affect you if you do not do anything about it, you have to fight. Yeah, this life is a sacrifice. This life is a challenge. And fight doesn't mean that you have to go and kill anyone. No, fight meaning you have to fight you. Like the biggest fight is fighting yourself. Uh, that's the sacrifice, right? You sacrifice yourself. And uh, you discipline yourself against your desires, really, that are materialistic, that are not godly. That is the biggest challenge for all of us. But yeah, in my opinion, you know, if you see oppression, you're going to just sit down and watch. If I see a child being killed, I'm going to sit down and watch. No, I'm a human. God created me a human being with a heart. I'm going to fight for it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit down and watch and say, oh, yeah, it's okay. No, 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 never. I will fight the oppression for any human being, regardless where they are from, what the religion is, because that's what my religion taught me. Simple. And I, I bet you it's what, I know it's what the, uh, the Jews are taught, and I know it's what the Christians are taught, what the Buddhists are taught. I hope, you know, I don't know about Buddhism enough, but I know that's what uh, the Jews and the Christians are taught. So it's our duty to be humans. It's our duty. And when we see wrong, to bring peace, you know. We cannot just sit down anymore. Not anymore. And watch the tyranny and watch the oppression. We can't. We are created humans, so if we were robots, that's another story. Right, Gina? Right or wrong? Do you, would you fight the oppression? Would you fight the oppression or no? Uh, I, I move towards uh, peace, not fighting. Yeah, and how do you stop in, the oppression in, uh, that's happening in, outside? In martial you? arts, we become masters, so you never have to use it because the energies of love flow through your fields. That's right. So how feed do you... and nourish people so they don't need to go that route. That's great. So how do you <clears throat> fight the oppression outside? How do you stop it? Send them plough. Yeah, okay. So you don't do anything. You just sit home and wait for the job. Send them bluff. Um, okay. I, I know I'm going to fight. Yeah, well, if, if the time comes that they're attacking, you you have to defend. Yeah, I mean, you I've have never, to I've never, ever, ever, ever started fighting. But you know, Gino, Gino, okay. In, in Islam, I like to talk about it because it's my religion, but I know it's also in Judaism and Christianity. You do not start a fight ever 
ever. But if you see wrong and oppression and the other one, and you, 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 um, you try, you utilize all the peaceful methods. And when you run out, then it has to be a fight. When you run, run out it's, of It's all, called defend, not fight. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay, it's a challenge. You'll have to encounter someone and yeah, that's what I mean. But you have to utilize all the peaceful ways before doing anything, anything that is aggressive. Um, and uh, and uh, to me, that's peaceful. I'm sorry. If I'm trying all the peaceful ways to stop something that is wrong and it doesn't work, then you have to defend yourself, yeah. And, and defend people and the elderly, the kids, the women. You just have to defend. Otherwise, what are we doing in this life? We have to help each other. So yeah, is this wrong? Is it wrong? I like to know, is it wrong? Is what wrong? To utilize all the peaceful ways and if it doesn't work, you have to. That's what, uh, that's the way to do it. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. But it's not gonna be by just sitting home and praying, okay? Because what well, I mean that that's not really prayer. You know, you, you've got to do your work. You have to do your work. Yeah, sure, you pray, you pray when you have to pray. But life is more than just a prayer. If everybody on the planet stayed home and prayed and meditated, there would be peace instantaneously. That's right. <laughs> so what if, are you talking about? If if then there's no there's no devil, there's no Lucifer. It's even Lucifer the people that did it and didn't believe in what they were doing, it still was affected. So how do you explain that? That's right, you know. But uh, Lucifer is still here. And Lucifer is still doing his work outside, right outside our home. It's because we need more people exactly to so enter. Uh, the realm of plot. But that's not up to us. You know. It's not up to us. It's a big thing. And you can pray for it, but it's, it's not up to you or me. That's a big thing. A big thing to ask, you know. Um, it might happen, it might not happen. Beyond us. Hello, nice folks. How are you? Hello. Hi, Arantha. Sorry, no video. I'm, I'm boiling here. It's like 35 degrees outside and about 40 degrees inside the house. It's warm here too. It's nice and warm. <laughs> We're enjoying the weather. It's getting warmer. Yeah, should, should we do a prayer maybe? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh, my connection, I guess, is not so good. But I, I wanted to ask Rana, um, losing your patience will never help. And interpretation of what is right and what is wrong is a very... Um, touchy when you say injustice or you see something doing wrong um uh -huh. even even something that in our your and mine and most of that we know uh, hurting a child is extremely wrong but if you believe in your allah or god you know that the mine, it's our god fine uh, that child is there to serve a purpose okay. and all you have to do is pray and send love as gino said send them love uh yeah no going, she going she out with a sword going out with a sword or a gun uh, just Arango, please please okay promote, please, promote stop, violence. Stop, please okay? okay uh what are you talking about getting a sword or a gun out what are we talking about here what are you talking about? Who is getting a sword or a gun out? Well, Who? I'm just saying that, how are you fighting? How am I fighting? Mm -hmm. 
If I see a child being killed outside my home, I'm gonna sit here and watch? And you, pray? You call the police. Uh huh. And if the police is late, what if I live somewhere, somewhere where there's no police around me? It's not my duty to go out and help. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you need to think about it. Because this is not about a sword. You're gonna watch somebody just, you know. This is not about a sword. And I bet you, if Gino, if Gino's kids outside are being killed, okay, he's gonna sit here and wait for the police. No. And what's the difference between Gino having his kids being killed or having another kid being killed? Now, what's the difference? We're all humans, aren't we? Mm -hmm. You only feel when we have our, our own kids are being affected? No. It's your duty as a human being to stop the oppressor. By your self-sacrifice? And what did, what did you mean by uh, losing your patience? Who's losing their patience? Uh, in my humble opinion, you are. In what way? Um, you're assuming that we are just sitting like ducks and um, not doing anything, but we are doing the best we can. And who told you I'm assuming you're not doing anything? Well, you're saying that we need to do more and um, we cannot just send PLAV. Um, that's not enough. Yeah, and Gino agrees with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he agrees with me. All right. Yeah. I said utilize all the peaceful ways that's in my religion, and I bet you it's also in every religion. Mm -hmm. To do all, utilize all the peaceful ways, and then when all the peaceful ways are not working, then you will have to defend. And if this means you have to fight, you have to fight. It's not a, it's not with a gun, okay? Mm. Men against each other, without a gun, let them resolve their issues if they have to resolve it that way. Now, without the woman, without the kids, without the elderly, that is how you, how you, uh, wars used to be. Not with the civilians. If you kill any civilian who is not involved in a fight, you are committing a crime. There were pretty fierce women warriors out there in the past. <laughs> What's happening in Palestine, if you're talking about Palestine and Israel, is horrific. The most horrific thing you can ever imagine. And I grew up with this. But this time, it's in everybody's face. And if people still don't want to feel it, it's up to them. It's up to them. Again, what are you doing for Palestine? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm spreading awareness. Okay. I have a certain cousin in Gaza. I talk to him mm -hmm. and make sure he is emotionally okay. I can't make sure 100%, but at least be someone there for him. For him. Mm -hmm. I try to help him and how I can, okay? The way I can. Right. Okay? And I, I do my best to spread the information. And also I do communicate with many people who are like-minded, not necessarily Muslims or Palestinians, Christians and, and Jews even, who are anti-Zionism, because Zionism is anti-Christ, if you believe in Jesus. Okay, that is the Antichrist. Israel, that is the Antichrist right there. I have to put it right in people's faces because I am sick and tired. Yeah, sure, if I lose my patience in that, I, I don't mind because it's about time. It's about time because we have talk, taken it in for so long, way too long. We have been oppressed with this information for too long. It's time for it to explode. It's enough. Enough of the oppression. Disgusting, actually. Absolutely disgusting what Israel does. It's a disgusting nation. And I'm sorry for anybody who supports it, but it's a disgusting nation. Are you talking about Israel? Yes, I am talking about Israel, the 73 year, year old Israel that stole our homes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Thank you. Well, these are very painful and deep-rooted issues, um, and I don't know the solution. It's okay. No, the solution is for them to get out of there. 
There's no peace there. That is the only solution. These are not Jews. It's happened all over the world. It's happened these here. It's not happened Jews. It's the US. These it's guys happened. know nothing about God. In South America, it's happened all over the world. In, in, in Australia, yeah. the white man came Everywhere. in. And took, Everywhere. It took everybody's their land. It's happened everywhere. Yeah, the Zionists are doing it on a big scale. And these are like uh, Jews and Christian Zionists, and even freaking Muslim leaders are, are falling into that freaking trap. All of them became Zionists. All of them. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And if anybody is going to correct this, it's going to be the people of faith. Okay? Because these are the people who have guts. These are the people who fear God. The, the, the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims, and there are many of them. And these are Allah. the ones who are going to correct what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would love more MFS, more teaching about MFS. Absolutely. Uh, if one dies for protecting mm -hmm. any child, not for any fighting, we value their life more than your own. Did not Christ die for all humanity? Absolutely. Thank you. He gave his life for all, for the lady speaking with Rana, what we can do to spread truth and love. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, that's why we are we focus on a, a fasting lifestyle, master fasting, um, because all the mirrors of truth come to the surface. Um, you get to see all the answers in plain sight. Um, you you can't deny things um, that are not in line with correct conduct. It's 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 very obvious uh, when you're living this lifestyle. The only thing you can do is suppress it by going back to eating heavy foods and uh, trying to numb yourself out again. Uh, but you're not going to be a happy camper doing that. Uh, we've seen this happen uh, uh, over and over, over the decades. And uh, um, fasting reveals all. Uh, it connects us, uh, if, if that's our uh, true intent and emotion, uh, to be in that space with our divine creator. And uh, we can open up and... Uh, uh, allow those fields to continuously flow. Because <clears throat> anytime we bring stagnation uh, through uh, our uh, intent and emotion of uh, imbalanced uh, emotions like uh, anger, hate, jealousy, greed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, uh, these put us in uh, a not so nice place. So we focus on fasting. And um, and prayers. You know, meditate, prayers. It's all part of fasting lifestyle. And standing up for the truth against the oppressor. Never, never give up. Never give up. We, it's going to uh, be challenging, yes. But just do it. Do the right thing. You know, what would be the right thing to do would be to everybody to leave the land that have been stolen. So that would be all of us in Canada, all of us in the U.S., all of us in South America, all of us in... Australia, all of us throughout Europe that have taken land that is not ours. We all have to leave and go back to our origins because uh, we're not in, in these places through righteousness. Um, so that's that's what needs to happen, I guess, for some people to be happy. Um, I don't know. I don't. We don't have these. Well, yeah, these yeah. answers are very very deep. At least profound. make it up to the like the, to the natives of the country about what you can do. You know, we just found a, another 215 buried children up in BC. Uh, this, these, these were uh, they've there's been many, 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 many burials like this found in Canada. Uh, they were uh, um, anyway. I don't want to go there. We can yeah. focus on fasting. Yeah. Um, it's this is uh, humans are. Um, Humans uh, are, you know, since the beginning of time, they've been killing, raping, and stealing from each other, and nothing's changed. Uh, so, um, we are, we want to, we want to be the change that we want to see. So we have to start with ourselves, and living in that peace, balance, correct conduct way. That's all we can do. We 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 start with ourselves, and we send out those fields, so they emanate and and uh, nourish. The imbalanced few, uh, imbalanced people, that uh, are choosing to uh, live in the opposite uh, direction of uh, bringing um, imbalance and uh, fear, separation, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we don't want to. Uh, 
believe that uh, we have all the answers because we don't, but the divine source of all has all the answers because everything runs perfectly in order without uh, human interaction. No need humans. The uh, uh, nature runs perfectly. The, the, the planets, uh, the solar system works perfectly. It has order. It has perfection without man doing anything. As soon as man puts their uh, Luciferic intellect into anything, this is what we end up with. You know, everybody's wearing masks. That's where we've gotten. We can't, I, I don't know how much lower we can get in humanity. The next step is we blow it, we blow each other up to schmitterings. <laughs> and I mean, or, 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 allow, or allow others to inject you with things that you don't believe in. <laughs> what is this? If you allow others to inject you with things that you don't believe in, that is oppression. That is extreme oppression. Paula, yeah. we have lost so much pure teaching from the indigenous people all over this beautiful world. Oh, yeah. I was just watching one that this uh, Han sent me from uh, Australia from the 1980s documentary uh, with the Aboriginal there. It was just awesome. These people, how they lived in the desert. <laughs> oh, man, you want to go uh, something extreme, go live in the desert. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't know what you're doing there, you're a goner. You know, in the, in the cold climate, you can dress yourself up and protect yourself and you know, make know, whatever. The cold but is worse than the When you, in the heat, you really got to know what you're doing. These are both extremes. They're mm -hmm. both extremes. But uh, the heat, you can't dress for it. You'd have to uh, have in innovative ways to keep yourself cool and uh, hydrated. <laughs> wow, well, hydrated, least obstruction, right? <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, pretty. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe I'll share that uh, documentary. It's a nice documentary. It's about forty minutes. But um, these people were uh, were ripped. They had no Ill illness illnesses. Uh, they were all, you know, they all had perfect teeth, uh, and, and they full ate, sets of hair. And they ate anything almost right. That is. Yeah, they ate from their available. environment. You know, yeah. whatever animals, whatever plants. Yeah. They ate from their environment. They didn't. Uh, they didn't go shopping at Costco. They didn't eat raw food only. Or, uh, or uh, what do you call it? Whole Foods or any of that stuff. <laughs> they, they, and they also cooked. And I'm sure they fasted too. Oh yeah, they didn't have food every single day. Not in those extreme weathers. There'd be days where you 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 don't eat. And they didn't drink water. <laughs> um. They were showing they were getting moisture from certain certain plants <clears throat> and from uh, uh, lizards and stuff. They would cook them with their skin on to keep the moisture so they would get the moisture from them. Um, they would eat grubs and stuff like that, all kinds of stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, peace, balance, correct conduct. That's uh, that's what I believe we, we, uh, we really need to stay focused and clear. Um, when you're in a fasting state, um, I find it much, much, much easier to keep that in the, in the forefront of our consciousness, these bounds of correct conduct. When we're eating, um, all kinds of stuff goes on with the monkey mind, much more so. Uh, that's what I find for myself. And many others have uh, shared the same thing with themselves but um yeah it's uh very interesting times um you know we're in a we're in a time where everyone knows that um war is completely diabolical and there, there, sh there shouldn't be any more wars but here we are again you know at that time and uh, stuff still happening. And uh, many people around the world just standing by. Uh, uh, yeah. It's pretty sad to see what's happening. Um, anyway, um, if anybody have any questions or we'll. Uh, 
Call it a night. Barbara, my mother's family had to watch their babies being murdered, but isn't an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth leaving the world toothless and blind? Absolutely. So what about our conversation about community development? The International Film Festival had filmed the pain there together. Family watching family. Uh, family watching family being tortured and murdered lost, faith in loving God, hoping their children can figure out what love is. So people can evolve to where people would never hurt others. I liked when I was fast and felt much compassion because I was feeling good. I heard the people hollering at me not to get vaccinated and the fear and anger of those telling me to get vaccinated. Thought to calm down the anger of believing from uh, what I saw that there couldn't be a shot or a pill stronger than the whole that I am. Yeah, I was uh, many, many people are running on fear. Um, the, prop, the propaganda has been going 24 seven for 15, 16 months now, whatever I lost track. And uh, we really need to uh, keep our field strength high and send plaf to all these people. Um, they know not what they do, so. Um, and we see ugly things come out when people are in fear, when people get our back in a corner, they do things that they normally would not do because they feel threatened. It's just like an animal getting back in a corner. It's going to attack if, uh, you know, it uh, believes its life is in danger. And uh, division, divide, division, divide and conquer. This is the name of the game. It's been played out. So we fast and we unite. So union, fasting brings union, even when you're alone, because alone is all one. You're all, you're connected to the all one source. You're never going to be alone when you're by yourself. The energy of Plaf runs through our heart and there's no loneliness in those fields. So we'll leave it at that. Thank you everyone for joining. We uh, we send our plot prayers through the whole planet of humanity and specifically and especially the leaders of this world and they move in the direction of peace, balance, correct conduct at all costs. By doing so, we can see some massive changes happening on this planet because there's only Plath, there's only God, there's only divine. And uh, that wisdom flows through all our hearts. And we continue to allow it to flow, continue to stay focused on a fasting lifestyle, continue to stay focused on peace, balance, correct conduct at all times do the best we can. Let's continue making those deposits at 4.32 a.m. or p.m. and fill up that bank so the world can be nourished from Plath because the fields is where we all come from and where we all shall return. And nothing happens without the fields. So thank you all for joining. We'll see you on the page. Ciao, ciao.